Good morning, Real Ninjas. I'm out here in Sausalito, California. It's about 5.30 in the morning and it's Labor Day. Today, I'm gonna go out on the Salty Lady. So let's take a walk down the dock and check out some of the boats and go say what's up to Captain Jared. Come on. So here's the hog heaven. What's up, Captain? How you doing? Good morning. There's the Blue Runner. The new right hand left. There's outer limits down here. And here's our boat for the day, the Salty Lady. Get underway, just a little Coast Guard required safety information, a little bit about how to catch a salmon today. So, if the boat were to go down today, we have life rafts on the roof. They float off automatically, hop inside till Coast Guard comes and picks us up. We also got an e up there that goes under the water, notifies the harbor, the Coast Guard, any boat in our vicinity. Pretty much, we got a problem out there, everybody's gonna hear about it. We got life jackets under all the benches inside, in case of emergency, crew will hand them out to you guys. It just goes over your shoulders like a jacket, make sure you clip that clip in front of you. Got a few fire extinguishers located around the cabin. Fire boy down the engine room in case there's problems down there. And finally on the right hand side of the boat or starboard side there's a throw ring. So I'm to go overboard today and you guys would like us to retrieve them. Please yell really loudly, keep your eyes and fingers on them and help us turn that boat around and pick them up safely. Alright, that's it for the Coast Guard Cried stuff. Just a little bit more about the boat here today. We got two heads on board, either side of the cabin, right behind the wheelhouse. Same men and women's on them, they both work exactly the same. Use whichever one's available at the time. Same as an RV toilet, low pedal to flush. They are finicky, so please be careful with the pedals. And try not to put anything down the toilet you won't put down your toilets at home. Finally, we got a couple steps on either side of the cabin, one going inside. See those catch a lot of people. Look at the deck, looks like sandpaper, feels like sandpaper hurts to fall, all right? Be careful of the steps, make note of them. Use the rails, use the handholds, that's what they're there for. All right, on to the fishing side of things. You guys have not done this before. We're gonna be salmon trolling today, all right? We're all gonna be using a rig just like this. You're gonna have a sink release to flasher going back to your leader. First thing you need is your weight. One of the crew's not there to help you get your weight on. You grab the back side of the sink release to the side with the flasher and leader coming off of it. Pull back, you'll see the two little copper teeth release inside the slit there. Take the loop of your weight, put it in there. Try and get both pins through there. Not a lot of small fish around, but there are a few. Don't want to drop that $10 ball of fish you're not going to take home today. Next is your bait. We'll have a tray up front, tray back here. They're going to have anchovies in them. Every anchovy's got a little wire loop coming out of his mouth. Find that wire loop. Find the black snap at the end of your leader and go down through the top of that loop, okay? Please make sure you close that snap. That is important. Got your weight on, bait on, ready to go over the side. This is important one, guys. See this one happen all the time. If you drop your gear in the water, don't look at it and send it down right away. Your flasher leader can get wrapped in front of the weight like this. You send it down like that, game's over before it even started, all right? You're either gonna hook a fish, it's not gonna drop that ball, it's gonna snap your leader or rip that hook right out of his face, or leave it down there for about three minutes, it's gonna come up, your leader's gonna come up in a big old tangle ball, all right? Best way to avoid doing that, gently put your gear in the water. Take one second to check it, all right? Just make sure that flash is behind the ball and spinning baits back there spinning nice and tight looks like that you're good to go down we'll be fishing what's called a spread today basically means starting at shallow depths in the front working our way deeper in the back do this so we cover the whole water column we're not tangling with our neighbors looks good to the fish down there we stop we'll give you guys a number we count down to these numbers by pulling out one foot poles okay using one of our orange rent rods put your thumb on the spool pull the free spool lever on the right hand side of the reel back towards you and count out till you get down to your depth one two, three, four, five, so on, so forth. When you get down there, rod the rod holder, you're fishing, all right? One thing you guys can do to increase your odds of catching the salmon, check those baits, all right? Every 10 to 15 minutes, reel that bait up, look at it, make sure you don't got grass all over your ball, make sure you didn't get a short strike, you're trolling around a 
half an inch over your bare hook. All right, leave those rods in the rod holders. Crank it up. I don't want to see the weight swinging around the boat today, guys. All right, everybody's worried about the hooks when you go fishing. They might poke you a little bit. If you guys knock your neighbor in the head with one of these weights, you might kill someone, all right? That's serious, guys. Please be careful with the weights. Don't reel them up to the tip. Leave five to six feet of line out. Gently bring it in, control your weight. Got grass all over it or something, clear it off. Weights go in the cup holder. Now you check your bait. I had a bite, been trolling around bear hook for the last half hour. Not gonna catch a fish like that, guys, all right? Make sure you're checking those baits on a regular basis. Now you're trolling around, checking your bait, you finally look a fish. I know it's exciting, I know that first instinct is grab that rod, set the hook, do something like that. That's the last thing we want to do salmon fishing, guys. All right, look, we got 50 ton boat here. It's trolling. That salmon hits, that hook is already set, okay? What works best, you guys yell. Fish on, hook up, deck hand, yell something. We'll be less than 50 feet away from you guys all day. We're gonna come running. We got 22 rods off the boat today. Let us take that rod out of the rod holder and clear it of the other lines, okay? We're gonna walk it back here, free it of the other lines, get it to you right here. This is where we fight and land all the fish. That being said, those of you guys fishing these three spots on the side, back corners. Need you guys paying attention when there's a fish on, all right? Give you guys instructions. You're gonna take that clip off your rod, take it out of the rod holder, keep that fish that's coming in from swimming around your lines and getting off. Also, long hand on these nets here, all right? Please be careful in the middle of the boat when we're landing the fish. Looking at the fish, I'm not looking behind me. You guys can ask Wes. It really hurts to get hit in the head by a handle of that net, all right? Be careful, also, been getting some multiple hookups, seen plenty of times. Someone's back here filming their buddy catch one, go back to their rod, weight's gone, bait's gone, had a fish on, didn't even know about it, all right? Cool, watch your buddy catch one, way more fun to catch your own. Anybody got any questions? I want to limit out. Me too. Yeah. That's not a question, that's a statement. Also, one more thing, please try to remember the numbers next to your name on the sign-in sheet. We're gonna use that number to tag your fish when you get one, all right? Um, be about an hour boat ride, sit down, relax, enjoy the ride. Thank you guys.
Real Ninja Fisherman, Captain Jared on the Salty Lady here, just heading in from our uh, very exciting day of salmon fishing. But uh, that's uh, typical late season fishing. It's the time of year that all these uh, regulars um, look forward to. We've got the nicest weather conditions of the year and uh, a shot at catching a fish of a lifetime.